From what I've read, people are really turning some good 60 foot times with this thing. It's kind of like a driver mod in a box. So this isn't complicated at all. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're out on the garage, kind of a rainy day, but uh, we're back out here on the car. Uh, I haven't been working on it, haven't been filming a lot. So uh, got a lot of little pivoting wiring tied up, like in the back, I got the fuel pump and the meth pump and all that stuff wired in with relays and stuff. So that's good. And then uh, you saw my little short, if you're watching the channel, where I got the radiator and the radiator fans in. So that's awesome. So uh, today we're gonna put the final touches on the clutch setup, hopefully. So if you saw in the earlier videos, I had that little clutch delay valve I bought off eBay and did some more reading and really decided not to use that so uh i went with something better so i got a hit master so uh what it is is it's a two-stage kind of setup so you can just sidestep the clutch and it'll find the sweet spot where it engages and it'll hold that for a certain amount of time with a little timer and then fully release it so from what i've read people are really turning some good 60 foot times with this thing it's kind of like a driver mod in a box and i went ahead and got the uh, second stage timer too so now i'll have one set up for first gear and then a setup for second third fourth and fifth pretty much but uh i'm doing that because uh the ar5 transmission so if you read about ar5s they're great for street cars okay for drift cars they last for last for a while but if you take them to the drag strip it seems like third gear is usually has a pretty short life at the drag strip so with this setup i'll be able to have a you know it's kind of like a poor man's slipper clutch in every gear so I, and you don't have to get under there and mess with weights and stuff so that's pretty cool so uh, follow along we'll get this thing installed and uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and let me know. And uh, once it, we do have this thing in the director, we'll make some follow-up videos on this hit master setup, and uh, we'll see how it works. All right, so here's what the standard hit hit master comes with. This is your first stage proportion of valve. So you hook this in, and then you got the solenoid valve and a timer. So the way I understand it is you you'll we'll wire this to the uh, line lock button right wire this guy to the line lock button and then when you dump the clutch this guy has a set volume so it'll engage the clutch you know right where it starts engaging and you can tune it with the knob right so you can find your sweet spot and then it'll hold it for however much time which they recommend starting at 0.7 seconds and then you adjust it out from there and then for extra stuff i went ahead and got a second timer and a pressure pressure switch so i'm gonna put this in line and this so this will do second third fourth fifth you know all the other gears and this will be first gear so uh pretty excited see how this works out uh gotta do quite a bit of wiring and gotta get over there and take a whole bunch of stuff apart and i'm probably gonna have to do some cutting to get this thing installed the way i want it to if you look on their website they kind of have it right on their clutch master cylinder so that's kind of what i want to do so we will see how that works and if i I hope I have all the fittings I need, so we'll find out. But uh, we're gonna get at this thing. So here's all the parts. So I uh, went ahead and took the heat sink off this thing because my plan is I'm gonna take this guy out and put it the other way, and then that will become. Yeah, I gotta figure this out because my clutch mouse cylinder has like a 3 a.m. out, and I want that to go into this T. Anyway. I'll explain it to you. I'll show you a picture of what they got going on the website. <laughs> and then uh, I'll show you what I'm coming up with. So it kind of makes more sense. And then there's my two Dash 4 in hoses. And some more elbows. Because I'm going to replace these straights with a 90 right here. So that way they'll shoot back right into the cab. So these two hoses go to the first stage valve. And uh, it all makes sense in a minute. Right now I'm kind of confused too. So I'm sure you are too. All right, so we went ahead and took off the eBay clutch delay valve. So I'm hoping I can use this D to get this one the way I want it. So let me take this one apart and then we'll put that one together and uh, I'll show you what we got going on. All right, so got that cylinder apart. This is actually what I need. So this is pretty cool. So this end will go into my clutch master cylinder and then that end will go there and then my 90 we'll go into there so i'll show you how all this looks once i get it in and uh tightened up and then we'll probably have to go do some cutting on the car to get this on the car so that's a bummer but uh it ain't 
Probably won't be last time cars got on. <laughs> so this isn't complicated at all. <laughs> so uh, here's what we got going on. So uh, this guy right here will go into the clutch master cylinder. Then these two hoses, they go back out to the manual valve I showed you earlier. And then this guy's my pressure switch for the second, third, fourth, fifth gear change. And then this guy goes to the clutch master cylinder. Uh, that guy shouldn't be there, sorry. But uh, let me go show you on the car how this thing looks. And then I gotta figure out if this is gonna work space-wise. I may have to do a 90 right here, but I don't know how to do that. May have to do... We'll have to go see how this works space-wise. So let's walk over to the car real quick. All right, so there's the front of the clutch master cylinder. So this guy will come in here Ooh. and go like so. So you can kind of see, I'm going to have to cut a lot of this out, which I had to drill that hole there to get the 90 in it. So I was thinking about, you know, if I do a 90, I can just do something like, that's hard to see. If I do a 90, I think I can tuck it in here like so, but I'm afraid this would come loose on bumps and stuff if it's a 90. So I just don't know. I kind of like that better, but I don't know if I'll be able to get the hoses bent up the way I need to. So let me do some thinking and some figuring and some cutting because regardless actually if I do the 90 I probably don't have to do any more cutting so that would probably save me a lot of time so let me see what I got I'll put my 90 back in and I think that's the best bet we'll put this guy right here I just got to figure out the sequence to get all this stuff tight <laughs> so uh, I think uh, I'll just start rolling the dice and I think I'll do the 90 and then this T right here first and then we'll try to get this thing spun on with and then put this guy on last is my thoughts but I don't know if I can spin that on with the brake line there so that's the plan we're gonna roll with it uh, I'm gonna go do some thread taping and take this guy apart and get everything thread tape tightened up and we'll go for it all right so that wasn't super easy but we got all this crammed in here so uh, I haven't got this tight yet, but I'm going to put some uh, heat shield on this guy. But that'll go to the clutch master cylinder, this guy right here. These two, these two come up and they'll go to this guy, which i got to find a home for it in, the, in there. And then uh, it's hard to see, but I have my switch. You can kind of see it, switch right there. So i got to get wires ran to that. So yeah, making good progress. So... Uh, and like here's actually an actual instructions so you can kind of see so i'm not just making this up it is actually going to work <laughs> so uh, i'm gonna find a home for that and probably find a home for those two guys the two timers i'd like to have those not out but at the same time i'd like to have them where i can adjust them without too much issue if i need to change the timing so uh but there's really no way to mount them or anything but they're super light so i think we'll go get some two-sided velcro and see if i can mount them on the inside of the glove box or something but uh as soon as i find a home for these guys then i'll start wiring it and i'll show you that too all right so i think i found a home for my two timers uh one thing i got to figure out is if i i will do an indicator light because i have one light left over in my dash but at the same time i have to figure out if i'm going to do a burnout button I don't know if I am or not and the other big hassle with mine is this line lock it's set up to trigger 12 volt so it sends a 12 volt signal to this guy to start the timer and unfortunately my line lock is set up as a ground so it can trigger the the anti-lag slash two-step on the micro squirt and it does the ground on my line lock solenoids so I'm probably gonna have to get a relay so this guy We'll just trigger a relay and then the relay will power up that. That's kind of a pain in the butt, but I really can't. If it was just my line lock solenoid, I'd redo this so it's a positive, but my two step has to have a ground input. So, so I gotta go dig up a relay and find room for a relay and get that wired, get these guys wired, and get that guy wired. And then I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a burnout button or not. Uh, I like the idea of having a burnout button. 
<laughs> but at the same time, my dumbass would probably break my transmission, playing with the burnout button all the time, shutting off the delay. So uh, anyway, we'll think about this and get at it. All right, so we completed getting our hit master installed. So here's our two timers. Uh, this one's for the line lock, and this one's for second, third, fourth, fifth. So when I hit my line lock button, my indicator light comes on over there to let me know it's engaged. And then when I let go, that timer clicks off. And then when I push the clutch for like second, third, and fourth, my indicator light comes on again. And then my timer, that's my timer for my second gear. So I'll set these up for different times just based on how the car is performing. And uh, I'm really hoping this helps my 60 foot times and this will keep me from breaking third gear. That's my hope. So that's why I sprung for the other ones because uh, the AR5 is known to spit third gear out at the drag strip. So hopefully this little guy prevents that. So uh, yeah, making progress. All right, so thanks to everybody that's watching the channel. And uh, I'll leave some links in the comments down below. So uh, if you're interested in Hitmaster, you can check it out on the website. They actually have a really good website that explains how it works and what it does versus like the eBay kind of clutch delay valve and stuff. So check it out and uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you soon.